Uh, no, but as my missus just said to me, you don't get to determine that, it just happens and sometimes you get the rub of the green and finish on a high, sometimes you don't, but uh, it's been an honour to play her. You had a break in the second half as well, did you think it was going to be? <laughs> no, mate, I saw three people chasing me down and one in front of me, so I thought I'd just take the contact and take a rest on the floor for a few moments. Um, how do you reflect on three and a half years as a player for Harlequins? A uh, privilege, mate. Uh, the old man said to me when I left home, as long as you work harder and try and be a nice guy, you tend to get a leg up in life and try to do that as best as I can. So I'd like to think my career at Wilmslow, Macclesfield, Rotherham, Worcester and here has been off the back of that. Uh, and it's been a huge privilege to, to finish it here at probably one of the most prestigious clubs in the country. But your journey with Harlequins hasn't finished. Tell us about your, your new role. Yeah, uh, extremely grateful to Guzzi and the team that I've been given an opportunity to stay on at Quinns uh, in a different capacity, looking after some uh, some young men in the academy uh, and trying to shape the future of this club, which is an absolute privilege and you know something I'm deeply humbled by. And when's the first time in the new, in the new role? Uh, it was meant to be on Monday, but they've very kindly given me a week off just to sort of take stock of the last few years and get my head right for what's about to come.